All right, hello everyone. So last I made a video, it was right after the first game of the preseason. So it's been a little bit, but let's kind of briefly go over the last few games that have happened. So the game right after, which was the second game of the preseason, was a 3-2 loss to Boston in overtime. I thought that it was a decently solid game. I thought the pace was a little bit lower, but honestly, kind of like what you normally kind of get out of preseason games, like is what it felt like. I think the first one was a lot more uh, energized because of just the hype with everyone being a lot more excited for the season and then it was a home game and first time we're seeing them like I think it was just uh, just kind of added to that hype and made it a bit more energized not to say that the second game was bad in any way but definitely a lower energy of course being an away game as well overall you know I thought they did pretty well the game after that, which is the third game, um, I thought had a heightened energy, even though they ended up losing 5-2 to the Devils. That game was definitely matched. I think maybe they had more energy, but it was decently matched for the first half of the game. And then after that, it kind of seemed to mostly Devils. One play that really stood out I thought was just nice was just like a really good um, defensive play on the penalty kill by Zibanejad that took uh, one of the defensemen out of the play and then Fox and Kreider go up the ice for a goal. I've noticed so far in um, those two preseason games that by that point that I've seen Zibanejad play and he's made really good defensive plays as normal but I feel like I don't think it's just preseason, honestly. I feel like he just seems more confident to make those plays on the penalty kill because he's made some, he's like noticed things and then he just jumped on it and I feel like um, that's how he might really up his uh, penalty kill or overall defensive game this season which is just pretty awesome because he's already really great and then the Rangers bounce back uh, against the Devils again in a nice 2-1 victory uh, the following night that was a very solid game. Energy went up again. I feel like what was really good about that game is that they never loosened their grip on the momentum because the first half of the game was 100% all Rangers. Mackenzie Blackwood was, was putting on an absolute show. But regardless of that, it was all Rangers. And then it started to swing at the second part of the game where the Devils were starting to get some momentum. But I feel like they never really took over the momentum, like maybe in certain instances where it was kind of going back and forth. But the Rangers never let it completely slip and kind of kept it relatively even and then of course having their own moments of sustained pressure which was really good and up until that point the Rangers had cut I think give or take a few around 29 players cut from the training camp so by then there's not really too many people that weren't playing so the team was looking like a little bit more like what it would be sort of and uh yeah they were just looking really good so I was really happy uh, in that game so right now I think that's the uh, accurate number for the amount of players that have been cut. So out of the people who got sent down, we got Will Cooley, who's uh, a notable person. And I think that he had a pretty solid preseason. Maybe we could have seen like a dash more, but he definitely has some really nice promise. And I think overall did do really well. So I think that uh, going down to Hartford, he'll be able to work on his game. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets called up a little bit this year. Brennan Othman looked very solid. A lot of people were, you know, like, oh my gosh, why'd you send him down? But a decent amount of people People were like, yeah, you know, work on your game, do your thing. You know, the Rangers, a lot of people say that they're not good at developing rookies and stuff like that, but I, I honestly think they do really well. I just think that they're known to sometimes make poor decisions with their rookies when it comes to uh, placements and trading and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe more so trading is what I mean. Sometimes the placements can get a little mad, but I feel like in recent years, they've really made sound decisions of giving the players time to really be ready for the NHL. And all the players that the Rangers have brought up since uh, in the last like maybe five years, or so they're all doing really well um so uh you know I, I trust the decision this time around also Offman is just really young and he's looking really really good so let him go kill it in the OHL again and then be like extra extra ready this year kind of like Zach Jones like you know he had his little taste and stuff and then this year it seems like he's gonna get it I would just be really surprised if Hayek got the spot over Jones. So I'm pretty sure Jones is uh, going to get that sixth spot. Back to Othman though real quick. Yeah, I thought that he had a really good preseason. He looked strong. But uh, again, for him to go work on his game and come back even stronger, like imagine someone like him getting better. Like it's going to be good. So uh, the Jones uh, Hayek situation, um, I think Jones have been, has been playing like overall just better than Hayek throughout the preseason here. Looks really confident, really solid. Like he's just doing his thing. He doesn't look like he's... Um, doesn't know what to do. I feel like when I watch Hayek, he has some hesitation on the ice and he's kind of like, should I make this decision? And honestly, at an NHL level, like I feel like a, a millisecond of hesitation can really cost you a play. The game just moves so extremely fast. And Jones is just like on top of it. He's really poised and composed. So uh, I would be pretty disappointed if he didn't get that spot. Uh, I think he's going to though, because he definitely looks like the best rookie defenseman out there. It's his time. I think VC's gonna make it out. I'd be pretty happy, I think, along with a lot of other people if VC made the squad. And yeah, I mean, a few other people. Gauthier, uh, I feel like he's kind of looking relatively the same. Like, 
he's someone that I think like has a strong game and just kind of like I've said needs to uh, like cross the T's and dot the I's and really put a bow on his game and he'd be a lot better. I still believe that but um, it's just like I feel like for the last two or three years he's been trying to do that and has been relatively unsuccessful so I mean I wouldn't be just in a situation like I wouldn't be irritated if he was traded but I also like would be happy for him to stay but I understand that like sometimes when you're just not able to get a chance with the team like you need to move on so I'd be a little sad because like I do want to see him grow into a player I feel like he can be but at the same time it's taking a while so it's like whatever happens happens kind of. So I think that uh, he might kind of be doing like what he did last year where he comes up for a few games, maybe goes back down. I hope that he just keeps grinding and working on his game so he can, you know, make that next jump. But, you know, we'll just have to see. I think overall this year, like he did look good. Uh, he looked faster and stronger, but uh, he also kind of looked like relatively the same. Like his decision making seemed very similar. Like he has a lot of chances where he went to the net and I feel like uh, of course there's contact and stuff going on, but kind of just like went straight into the net most times. And um, I feel like, you know, with his skill, like if he were to make, I feel like he can do it, like make some more moves in front of the net. Like I doubt that he just doesn't have the skill for that. And I know in those situations, it can be really tough and we're not at ice level, but still, I just feel like, you know, maybe just cutting directly to the net doesn't have to be your option every time you get a little break off to the side. So we'll see what happens with him as well as some other players. But anyway, that's pretty much what's happened uh, over the last few games. I think there's only maybe three players or so above what uh, the Rangers need. Like, I think you could have like 22 players on the roster and they got like 25 right now. So we'll see who makes that squad, uh, who's their opening night and who they're going to roll with for the time being until, you know, someone lacks or whatever. They switch it around. We'll see. So they got a game against the Boston Bruins tonight. Uh, going to run that back and we'll see how that one goes. Excited for sure to see that game. After that, we only got one more I believe it's against the islanders and uh then after that we got opening night against tampa bay I like how they do that you know they put uh tampa bay as that first game like a rematch i mean you know you can't match the intensity but you know the rangers are really looking to win their first game as every team is but uh against them you know it's a little bit hype it's kind of like when that whole situation with tom wilson and panarin last year and then the first game of the season is against the capitals that though i didn't really think was a bad idea just to kind of like get it out of the way because you know people would be like marking their calendars and stuff if it was like the 20th game of the season or whatever and then it ended up just being a whatever game and uh and then it was just kind of lost and i was like that's good because that could have gotten way out of hand not to say that there's going to be some crazy rivalry against Tampa but uh, either way you know it's just a, it's a good first matchup so anyway we'll be watching that game against Boston tonight we'll talk about that and then uh, we'll be looking forward to the last preseason game before we turn our attention to the regular season all right that's all I got for today thank you so much for watching and take care